having my old boss, my old commander, come up to me and tell me that he has nightmares, that he's felt suicidal, that he's wanted to end it and tap out, made me understand and realize that I'm not the only one. It's normal if you've been through what we have been through. I've served in the Army for approximately nine years with one tour in Operation Iraqi Freedom. The number one thing I remember that I take away when I first started off was you make a decision and whether it's right or wrong, you kind of go with it because uh, you can't be flip-flopping, you can't second-guess yourself. I'm an infantry officer. I'm a guy that's supposed to be a leader, I'm a guy that's supposed to be tough, not have problems. And I'm here and I want you to see it, that I'm telling my story, that I did have problems and it's okay. I've had a suicide attempt. I've been at the lowest of low, and I'm back. And I'm here for you. So why would you listen to me? You don't have to take it from me. If you are struggling, you're in that situation where you feel like you're down and you have nowhere else to go and people are concerned about you, your friends, your family. Uh, they're leaving no soldier behind. They're not leaving you on the battlefield. They're there trying to drag you home. And keep that in mind. You wouldn't do that to them. So you wouldn't take no for an answer if you were calling your friend and you knew they were hurting. You'd be doing everything you can to get them home. And that's all they're doing for you. Don't push them away. Dealing with my own personal, I guess, demons or nightmares or just decisions I've made in life, knowing that I could have got help back then, knowing that if I would have took that step to get help, would have made me a better leader, a better person. The way I look at it in the military is it's professional development. You are not getting help for a problem. You're actually just increasing your professional development. You're ODP, Officer Professional Development. Call it mental health services, but really it's professional development. For me, it, it, it's the ability to actually let your soldiers know that it's okay as well. So they're not held to the same standard that you put yourself at. I would have nightmares. I'd be reliving the situation. And then also, but the trigger for me was actually making decisions no matter how small or how big they were they were triggering to me because in my mind is this a decision that's going to get someone killed and i had a hard time dealing with it but that would end up to be the nightmares that would end up to be you know the anxiety the panic the stomach pains, um, and then definitely isolation. I didn't want to interact with anybody, didn't want to be with anybody. Um, that's the place that I went. You know, come back and you're isolated or you go back to town and no one seems to understand you, yeah, that's scary. Not to mention you get frustrated, you get pissed off because you want to explain to them and tell them what you're going through, but they will never understand. And I understand. I've been there. I know. And that's why I have a new purpose in life. That's why I know I can't take that road or take that path. Even though I've come close, I can't do it because it's not fair to anyone out there who's struggling I should be there to help them. There's people out there who actually care about you and want you to get the help you need. 
and not to give up. The not to give up piece was the big important piece for me because uh, I, I was at the end of my line and I was almost I almost gave up, you know. So, and I'm glad I didn't. Right now, and you're in pain or you're hurting and you're lost, there's three things that you should do. One, call the suicide prevention line. Suicide prevention lifeline and press one. Two, call a friend, text a friend, connect with somebody that's gonna have your back, someone that's gonna be there. And three, find your bearings. And I can only relate it back to the military and the fact that maybe land nav on firing range, whatever, but you still gotta find, you gotta know you, where you're at first before you can actually continue. So find your bearings. Get your pace count and get moving.